Hi, Saggy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Sagittarius placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leo doesn't fit for your situation. Okay, anything you guys need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box. Please make sure you are watching out for the scammers on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, I'm going to be pulling some oracles at the end for you guys. I do like reading from my guidebook. So if you don't like all that reading, then you can go ahead and click off. <laughs> I like reading from my oracles, my oracle guidebook. So let's see what's going on with you, Sagi. Let's see what's going on here. Messages for my Sagittarius spirit. Okay. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Let's see what's going on for my Saggy. <clears throat> what's going on for my Sagittarius? Two, three, four on the clock. You guys can be seeing those synchronicities. What's going on for Sagittarius? Okay, so love affair came out in reverse. Dirty little secret down low. Hmm. What else? Grip anchor chains way down. Building. Wants to build or start a family with you. Random. Person or situation. Progression. Slow progress. Bottom of the deck destruction friends or family trying to keep you two apart done okay so maybe the person that you're done dealing with here and the one that's the person that's uh, you're slowly progressing with like it's moving hella slow like barely moving at all is the person that you're done with because their family and friends could be trying to keep you all two apart uh, yeah somebody here that you have unconditional love with but they're inconsistent they're a flaker they flake out or they they run when shit get hard. 212 on the timer. Is somebody from their past affecting them? Okay, whoever that is. For others of you, there's somebody that you're going to meet randomly that's not going to treat you like a secret. Okay, or something like that. And you're going to want to build with this person. They're going to want to build with you. Let's see, though. I don't know. Maybe I'm onto something. <laughs> Who knows? Let's see. What is this here for um, Saggy? Or something is out. Something came out about some sort of love affair. Maybe something came out. Let's see, though. This love affair in reverse. The magician, <clears throat> Virgo, Gemini energy, and the hierophant. Yeah, you're manifesting commitment. I feel like that's what's coming in for you. You're not finna be nobody's like whatever the fuck this is <laughs> okay no on no down low or being no side piece or none of that stupid shit right i feel like you want something sacred okay you want this you want a union you want marriage just period you could have taurus in your chart or you could be dealing with one virgo gemini some of you guys have took your power back from a situation because, like I said, you're not going to be this. You're not going to sit up here and have no love affair with nobody at all. Or you're not going to be the one that they're running to when they have a problem with their raggedy ass family. If you're not doing that shit either, I feel like your integrity and your morals is what's important. You know, the death card, yeah. And the three of wands moving forward. What's this uh, magician? The five of swords. Hmm. I feel like you fought back in something. You defeated someone or something was defeated here. Someone could have an Aquarius, Venus. Someone here could be trying to manipulate you. What's this magician with this five of swords? Nine of wands. 
Sagittarius moon. Somebody could have. Yeah, you know, I feel like you're taking back your power from a situation where it's just been an ongoing battle. I feel like you've been tired of dealing with it for a long time. But it's definitely something here that you've defeated. You got some sort of victory in it with the Five of Swords. Maybe somebody was trying to, like, bully you or intimidate you or whatever. This could have been somebody you was dealing with that had a... Uh, they could have been married or with somebody else and this person found out about you. So this person started attacking you, their ex or whoever the fuck it is. And I feel like you defeated they stupid ass too because it's like, don't play with me. Go talk to the person that got you into this shit. They got both of us into it. You feel what I'm saying? So I feel like... <clears throat> Somebody, it's something like that. Somebody could have been trying to send you some sort of spiritual attacks too. Yeah, like what? This nine of wands talks about fighting back too. That five of swords is the same thing. You fall back and somebody feels defeated and they feel like they could defeat you or play with you. I feel like you just took your power back. What's this hierophant? Somebody is a fucking loser. What's the hierophant? For some of you, somebody's abusive. Yeah, Ten of Swords. What's the hierophant with the Ten of Swords? Gemini energy. Somebody could be on the Taurus Gemini cusp. The Nine of Cups. Someone here... Something about sex, nine of cups. And this ten of swords. Okay, I'm getting two messages. For some of you, there's somebody that you were with that was connected to somebody else or however is going that wants attention. Like they want some sort of fame or recognition. For some of you guys, you could be spiritual gurus, spiritual leaders. And because somebody don't want to have an affair with they ass no more, they could be doing like work on you and shit. They could be trying to hex or curse you or do something here to gain some sort of recognition and fame from you. Like, I don't know how that shit correlate. I feel like somebody's just maybe jealous or somebody here plays like little mind games with you. Whoever this person's ex is, because I'm pulling that energy in. The person that's taking forever to come towards you to pick pick things up and their family or their ex could be getting in the way. Their ex is like picking on you <laughs> like a fucking loser who the fuck picks on somebody at their big age people are grown trying to pick on another motherfucker <laughs> i feel like that's lame but this does somebody here could be pregnant or could have gotten pregnant here that was a betrayal somebody had to learn a lesson around that There was an abrupt ending to a wish fulfillment. Something had came in, but it ended very quickly due to a betrayal. Somebody was doing something. They could have been doing magic or they was doing something like that to cause somebody to have a really hard time. But that nine of wands talks about perseverance, not giving up. You guys will be saying nine, nine, nine. What's this nine of cups? This could be a divorce. Yeah, the star. Something was wish fulfillment. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Like I said, though, somebody could be seen in a public eye. Somebody, Someone has some sort of status or fame or recognition, acclaim. They have something. Someone here could just be simply living comfortably like they're fine. <clears throat> this talks about spirituality, too. Somebody could be very spiritual, very creative and innovative and just healing. Somebody's sex is healing too. Somebody is sharing the wrong, the, the good, like good energy with the wrong person. They use that shit against them. This could be somebody was doing some sort of sex magic or something to gain something. This is like, I don't know what the fuck I'm picking up in this reading, Sagittarius. Or this is what somebody else is trying to do. What's a. <clears throat> Some sort of wish fulfillment could be coming in for you, though. A positive turnaround in the situation. Somebody, I feel like this already happened, though. Somebody, or maybe somebody is going to see that you're happy somewhere, you're being satisfied somewhere else, and they're going to try to just get in the way. They're going to try to cause some sort of betrayal. And this is a lesson for somebody. 
about who the fuck they share their energy with to stop fucking around with these lame hoes. What's this grip card? <laughs> in reverse. I mean, not in reverse. What's this anchor chains? The king of cubs. This king of cubs has been coming on for a lot of people. What's this grip here with this king of cubs? The knight of wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody being reckless. Whoever this is, is jealous too. Very competitive. Could be another Sagittarius. This could talk about like somebody feeling like fear. Whoever this is is reckless. What's this? Could be reckless with their sex life too. Somebody, it could be very sexual or something. Or whoever they share their energy with, it's just not. Or this is you. What's this Knight of Wands in reverse though? Whoever this is is arrogant. They think they know everything. What's this Knight of Wands in reverse? Someone here that lacks pur purpose, drive, ambition. The King of Swords. Okay, what's the Knight of Wands in reverse with the King of Swords? Could be an Aquarius. The Ten of Cups. Somebody here could be abusive. Somebody could be in family court for like abuse too for some of you. There's some sort of separation taking place somewhere. But the, the King of Swords, that could be a lawyer, a judge, a cop. Okay, but this could be someone here setting boundaries. Someone made some sort of head over heart decision. They chose sex and some sort of fame. Somebody wanted some sort of fame or stardom. They chose that side of things. And a person that they chose to go be with, instead of choosing this Ten of Cups, which I feel like it was you, they were cold towards you. I feel like you're representing this Ten of Cups here or whoever. Instead of choosing that, they chose to be selfish. But it's because they wanted some sort of status or something. Somebody is very, like, manipulative. Give me more. What's Who is King of Swords right here, Spirit? This could be two. Yeah, two of Pentacles juggling. It's going back and forth, like, or... Trying to keep something balanced here, knowing that it's not getting them nowhere. It's, it's causing a stalemate. I feel like they were juggling you. They seen that you were their happiness. This Ten of Cups could represent soulmate energy, a destined or fated partnership, marriage, kids. Somebody was having an affair, though. They were juggling. Somebody could live a double life here. Somebody got a whole family somewhere else. Two of Pentacles talks about something fluctuating up and down, back and forth. This could be, what's this Two of Pentacles? Someone that have a Capricorn Jupiter. Yeah, Three of Swords in reverse. What's the Libra? Somebody could have a Libra Saturn. What's this Three of Swords in reverse? The Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is a. Uh, Libra, Jupiter, Libra, Saturn here. This is recklessness. Somebody, I said recklessness. I mean, it could be, obviously, but somebody is like really restless. Someone here could want to reconcile with you too. This person that's trying to maybe set boundaries with whoever this is and their family, whoever they got kids with, they want to reconcile with you. But I feel like somebody has been holding on to some sort of pain that they feel like they don't need help with. Four swords in reverse. They could be, somebody could be going through some sort of like awakening and trying to maintain balance and everything. That's like being open, being flexible, adaptability. But I feel with that four swords in reverse right there, someone is, I mean, I still feel how I feel about them awakening and wanting to like reconcile with you. I know they're going to want to. <laughs> they always do. What the fuck? But... Someone, this is like having a lack of faith or losing faith here. And this is, this is definitely somebody's mind. Somebody overthinks a lot. They're really, really overwhelmed. But I feel like that there has been some issues here with somebody holding a grudge or repressing their feelings or holding on to like trauma, pain. 
which is causing someone to like go back and forth, go back and forth. Like, you know what I'm saying? They don't know what they want to do. And they let this person do whatever the fuck they want to do to them too. The page of cups, the tower and the death card. Something here could be definitely coming out about a child. What's this 10 of cups? Okay, yeah. The Ace of Swords in reverse. There's arguing, fighting. The Ace of Swords in reverse is definitely fighting. It's bickering. Someone made the wrong choice, like I said. They took their ass over here with somebody that they thought was... I don't know what they thought this person was. Or who, I don't know. But this is what's going on behind the scenes. Five of Wands with the Moon. Or somebody's in secret competition with you, too. This person here... <clears throat> This Ace of Swords in Reverse could represent somebody being like scatterbrained. Definitely a lot of lies. There could be lies and shit around a child or children or just a whole family in general. <laughs> okay. Something is not clear or somebody wasn't clear about this. Hmm. What's this King of Cups? The Queen of Pentacles. Who this? What's this King of Cups with the Queen of Pentacles? Somebody here could be married. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is married. What's the King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles? Oh, they, they provide the King of Cups. They're a provider. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like maybe you could have two masculines here. Mm. I was getting this confusing as reading for y'all last time, bro. The devil, the seven of cups, the eight of cups. I feel like you're walking away from any kind of confusion. Whatever the confusion is, you're walking away from it. I just seen 7-11 on a clock. It says 17-11, but 7-11. Something is just confusing to the point where it's overwhelming and it's just too much to deal with. So I feel like you could be going in solitude because you could have a lot of options and choices and decisions in front of you. I feel like somebody is being cold towards you. They're acting like ain't shit going on, but this person is trying to maintain a fucked up relationship and they feel like they don't need help in this third party. I feel like they're holding on to a past, like a grudge or some sort of resentment. Okay. And then you can have somebody up here that has feelings for you. And so I feel like you could be at a crossroads, seven of pentacles. You're just evaluating everything. You might need to take some time to just evaluate what's going on. Because this is messy. Somebody way down, though. Maybe both people could be <laughs> in a way. You know? I feel like this could be for some of you. Because this, this king has been coming out. This could be a spirit guide, too, that's, like, guiding you away from the bullshit. Somebody's going to take you away from whatever this is. Because somebody is, like, they're not, they're just not right. Somebody made the wrong decision about a family, and so they stuck over there. They stuck there. Um, Someone could have a Taurus Saturn. Give me one of this Queen of Pentacles. The Temperance in Reverse. Yeah, um, this could be like having problems with doing things in like moderation. This could be hastiness. Could be another Sagittarius here. An imbalance somewhere. This could be you and somebody or there's some sort of discord or disharmony between you and somebody. This could be the same person. You've been waiting on them and they sitting over here with a whole nother family. It's like... Give me more. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Tempest in reverse? Some of y'all need to get back in balance or get back grounded. Because whatever this disharmony, yeah, the judgment. Mm. Somebody could be trying to antagonize you too. So there's an antagonistic like energy. So maybe you're going to have to make some sort of decision about what you want to do with this person that's dealing with the antagonizer. Or this is they stupid ass doing the antagonizing. But I feel like because there's so much disharmony here or like a lack of peace, 
and just tranquility with whoever this is, you're going to probably have to make a decision. Maybe just focus on your work and get back grounded. Somebody here could be imbalanced with imbalanced without your ass. But this judgment here, whoever is doing the antagonizing or wherever the imbalance is coming from, you're going to be awakening about it or having to make some sort of decision. Or because of a decision you've made now, things are imbalanced in their life. The Two of Pentacles is there. I feel like you just took back your energy and started focusing on yourself. Literally. What's this Seven of Pentacles? Yeah, the hangman releasing, letting something go, making a sacrifice, trying to figure out what it is you need to let go of. Because something is taking a while. It's taking a lot of patience. And I feel like your patience is running out. Just period. There is a lack of clarity with that Ace of Swords. Somebody know that this King of Swords know the truth, but they're not speaking up about it. And that's what's crazy. That's what I'm saying. These people in these readings, bro. Somebody is, they fucking lame. Pisces here with the hangman. Yeah, that's you like awakening and looking at things from a different perspective. Hmm. Child, whatever. <laughs> like, I, this is just a lot. What's this building? Wants to build or start a family with you. What? Who? Because <laughs> it looks like it's a lot of fuck shit. The Six of Cups? What's building with, with the Six of Cups? The Eight of Wands? The Sun? The King of Pentacles? The Six of Wands? Okay. So somebody here going to match your energy. Whoever this is. For some of you, you could have a past life with this person. Or this could be somebody from your past. I don't know. It might not be. This could just be the simple fact that somebody's going to bring a lot of playfulness and happiness to you. And it's going to happen all of a sudden with the Eight of Wands or something's going to suddenly like shift with your direction and where you're going with whatever this mess is over here. Something is definitely in balance between you and them because they juggling. They got a family here. And maybe this person is cheating on them. They got some shit going on. They gonna have to fucking get like deal with that because there's nothing that you can do with it, period. But um, this six of cups. What's the six of cups? Ten of wands. <laughs> yeah, I feel like um. Let me see. What's the six of cups with this ten of wands? The queen of swords, child. <laughs> In reverse, it's like it's like a roadblock everywhere you go, everywhere you turn. Somebody got some bullshit going on, you know. Like what the fuck? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is bitter. There's like a lot of malicious gossip here. Somebody just they talk too fucking much. Whoever this is. This Queen of Swords in reverse too could mean like. Somebody's being overly critical or they just always nagging or bitching about some shit. Somebody is childish. And I feel like if this is you, you're carrying the majority of like the relationship. You do everything. Somebody here does everything while this person just sits back and talks shit. It's like, get the fuck out of here. Whoever this is, I want to build and start a family with you. They could have somebody from their past doing that. And it's starting to become a burden or something. I don't know. I feel like these are all different people. But it could be the same person. Yeah, we got the Queen of Swords in reverse with the King of Swords upright. So somebody's karmic here. Baby mama. Somebody's fucking baby mama. <laughs> it's always these fucking hoes. <laughs> I'm so sick of their ass. I'm so tired of them. I'm sick of their ass. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse? What the fuck are they bitching about? The Ace of Wands. A new beginning. <laughs> some of you guys could be overly criticizing a new beginning for some of you. This could be something that you're getting into. 
that's going to take some work okay it's going to, it's something is challenging with the ace of wands coming out but you could be over criticizing it or you could be feeling a bit scatterbrained you know or something like that you know let's see what's the ten of wands the tower in reverse Two of Swords, the Five of Wands, the Emperor, the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody, somebody could be a provider and a protector of a household, and that's what's burdening their ass. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It's a lot of shit going on in this reading. It's so all over the place. Could be dealing with an Aries. But the Tower, I feel like somebody's trying to avoid some sort of laws here. Or you're going to have to, you're going to avert some sort of tower if you make the right decision. But that tower in reverse, somebody could be going bankrupt because somebody is struggling. This Ten of Wands is a burden. And I feel like it's somebody from someone's past that's a burden. They could have kids with them or something, or this is you. You got kids with somebody that's a burden, but you, there's something... Something is inevitably going to happen, though. So regardless with the tower in reverse, you can't avoid the tower. It's going to fall apart anyway. You're going to still feel burdened. You're going to still feel stressed because it's time for you to move on away from it. Period. I feel like maybe somebody could be staying in a situation because there's kids there. But it's going to fall apart, especially with this bitch right here. Whoever the fuck this is. It's whoever, who does Queen of Swords in reverse? Three of Wands. Aries. Somebody got Aries and maybe air in their chart or something. The sun, the high priestess, the page of pentacles. For some of you, somebody is into like divination practices. Somebody could do, um, could be a tarot reader. There is something that's going to come out maybe in a reading if you're watching it or maybe if you're watching me. I don't know. Somebody here could be pregnant too. Somebody, child, what is going on? <laughs> somebody somebody could be pregnant this could be you're just pregnant with new ideas because the high priestess is divine feminine energy too they give birth to things <sighs> mm. <laughs> uh, mm. i don't even know what to say no more this three of wands is like growth expansion. I feel like every time you try to grow or expand, they got something to say about it. And they come with all their fucking burdens and baggage and mess. This is somebody that uses and take, takes advantage of you because they're still childish, Six of Cups. Somebody is childish or they with somebody that's childish. Somebody is childish. We got the, the Queen of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. And the Two of Wands of Justice. There's something that's coming in. Because we got the Queen of Cups to the King. Who we just had that for? Cancer. Yeah, Two of Cups to Sun. Someone is mad. Someone is just mad because you turned your back on them. So they're, they're mad. They're mad. <laughs> they're just mad. This person... child by i cannot with them this <laughs> is just it's just so depressing what's this eight of wands what is this the high priestess what's the eight of wands with the high priestess the seven of cups so okay if i'm looking at it this way somebody here you guys could be moving forward very quickly your your you know new doors are opening up for you there could be a lot of options and shit going on, okay, or or a lot of doors opening up, like I said, a lot of new opportunities, a lot of options. I don't know if they're in love or just in life in general, but you're needing to listen to your intuition. Maybe you are with the high priestess and the seven of cups. Things could be a little bit blurry or whatever, but I feel like you're listening to your intuition. And the eight of wands is positive movement forward, a positive shift. For some of you, somebody's fantasizing about you. I feel like somebody's trying to spiritually attack your ass. Uh, you know, I ain't gonna lie. What's the Seven of Cups? The Fool. Yeah. 
a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. <laughs> that look good to me. Some of y'all could be traveling or moving, but I feel like you got new opportunities coming in. You really need to listen to your intuition because it's a lot of fucking, go it's a lot of confusion here with all this and all these fucking people and the problems that they got. You're going to have to really decipher who's who and what's what and if you should spend your time there or not. Because I, I mean, I'm saying everywhere you go, there's going to be problems or something. There's going to be something there, right? I mean, if you make connections with, with new people or different people, they everybody come with some sort of baggage, so, I mean, it's going to be up to you, but the fool is definitely a new beginning, like adventure. Some of y'all going to have to wake up and snap out of it, okay? Because something is, it's a little bit too fun and you're forgetting about all the drama that's being brought to you, depending on if you can deal with that shit or not. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to deal with that, then that's on your ass. If you know how to handle it, then handle it. If it's worth you fighting for it, then fight for it. You know, as long as they fighting with you, though, you can't be the only one fighting for some shit. That's what I'm saying. All this shit here is a mess. People in their raggedy ass fucking baby mamas. Y'all motherfucking men, y'all need to stop sticking your dick in these hoes. And I'm going to say it just like how I feel it. Because then us fucking divine feminines or the people, the, the women that are good or whatever, we got to deal with these bitches in their raggedy ass. <laughs> it's like, uh, the fuck? What's random? Shit pissed me off. Random person or situation. Like, what the fuck? These hoes, they ain't got no fucking life. Bitch, take care of your kids and move the fuck on. Period. No, don't shit work out. Not everything works out all the fucking time. Page of Wands and the Seven of Wands. So, yeah, I feel like the challenge is with you meeting people. We're random person or situation. I feel like the challenge is with you meeting new people. Because I feel like you're guarded. Every time something looks good or you have some sort of new exciting plans, they always get blocked, seven of wands. Or you start building something and creating something with somebody and boom, there's a blockage. You know, like, that shit. <laughs> mm -mm. It's always something. What's a so the page ones though that is something new. This could be like a letter, a text, an email, a phone call. There could be a random person hitting you up, or maybe you give somebody your number and they hit you up. What's this page ones? Or somebody that you know is gonna randomly text you out of nowhere. <laughs> What's the page ones here? Or it could be somebody hitting you up randomly about children, or they just trying to I don't know. They could be making a big fuss about something. Let's see, though. What's this page of wands? The strength card. What's the page of wands? The strength card. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be the devil. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Shy. <laughs> what? Could be a Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You can have this, somebody, somebody you could have blocked is going to go around the block. They're going to like try to like say something to you. They, this could be somebody sending you a flirty text. This could be online or somewhere. I don't know, but I feel like they're toxic. Or there's going to be some sort of like temptation. So just watch out for that. Something that you possibly already overcame. And you know, we are in retrograde. Venus is in retrograde. So these hoes and these crazy ass men, they're going to come back. Somebody could be obsessed. A lot of motherfuckers could be obsessed. That could be coming back. What's the seven of wands? People have lost their mind. The two of wands. Yeah, what's the seven of wands, two of wands? Someone could have Aries, Mars. A lot of fire in this reading. The chariot. A blockage, like I just said. Or somebody here not really having no sense of direction. I just heard somebody charging. Maybe somebody could be charging at you. Like somebody being aggressive and out of control with the chariot in reverse. Something is blocked. Something is blocked here. You could be dealing with a cancer. 
Because the two of wands talks about planning for the future. Somebody could be planning all this shit. <laughs> Whoever this is, somebody is weird. They're a fucking weirdo. This could be your baby mama or your baby daddy. Or a situation where you're dealing with somebody that got a weird ass baby mama and a fucking raggedy ass life. <laughs> like the chariot in reverse, that is somebody that's like out of control. Something is, so whatever is trying to come in for you, whatever you're planning for is challenging because of all the fucking bullshit. It's like damn near blocked. Lord help me. What, what's give me more? What's the two of wands with the chariot in reverse talking? The hermit. I feel like you're disappearing on somebody's ass. Yeah, everything is fine right here. Nine of swords, the knight of cups, the four of wands, the death card, the ace of cups. Sagittarius. The Hermit talks about soul searching, introspection, going within. I feel like somebody, though, they be in secret looking and peeping and watching what you do so they can block this shit. This could be something that they do spiritually, too, to block anything coming in for you. They do that shit spiritually. Like, they do magic or they, they doing something to block you. But it could be they try to, like, do little shit. Like, they'll text your phone with a whole bunch of shit to fuck your energy up. Or they just do little sly shit, slick sly things. They ass deserve to be popped in their fucking face. That's what. What a shame. <laughs> Somebody is jealous. Whoever this is is very jealous. They're very jealous and they're evil spirited. They're mean spirited. <laughs> what else, spirit? What? We got health maintenance. Detox, breaking bad habits, lifestyle changes, making healthier choices, and the audacity. <laughs> Feeling offended, striking a nerve, someone crossed that line, overstepping boundaries. Somebody feels like you, you're you crazy or you're mean because you fucking decided to de you like purify your energy away from their stupid ass. That's what I'm saying. Whoever this is, is very manipulative. And they feel like you're you're the bad person because you're, you've decided to, yeah... You decided to walk away. Tight knit. Family and friends. Soul family. Community influences. Deep bonds. And then we have drama queens. Somebody in your fucking family that you close to or whatever. Starting drama. Stirring the pot. Start shit for fun. Feeding off of chaos. Whoever this is is a loser. And I'll be happy when y'all get rid of this bitch. Because they get no my Whoever it is. Whoever it is. They can have family and friends involved in all this. And I feel like you could be meeting somebody that you probably do want to build with, start a family with, or you're going to have a deep bond with them. They're going to be a part of your soul family. And then you got this hoe that's running her big ass fucking mouth every day, all day. <laughs> the fuck? What's the audacity? What does that mean? The audacity of this bitch to keep popping up in this energy. That's what the audacity is. Outdated. Yeah. <laughs> like, no longer a value, purpose served, time to move on, lacking benefits. Yeah, you don't see no, nothing is growing here. And they feel like the audacity. No, bitch. Or maybe you feel like the audacity because it's like, bro, <laughs> what? Like, I'm trying with your ass. I'm really trying with you. And the audacity of you to act like this because what? I don't know why they're acting like that. Because you finally, you want to move on or whatever. Or they, they're holding some sort of grudge or whatever the fuck y'all done been through with this hoe. Irresistible, intense desire, strong impulse, finding it difficult to hold back. It, you you served your purpose here with this person. Whoever this is right here that's causing drama, you've already served your purpose with them. And now you have somebody that you're desiring. Somebody, it's somebody around you that you want or they want you. But you're going to have to deal with this bitch. 
you gonna have to deal with them just period i don't know or this is somebody that you fucking with they gonna have to figure it out 313 on the timer what's uh what else too much fucking drama don't nobody got time to deal with that shit lined up <laughs> casual dating keeping options open multiple love interests non-committal committed <laughs> Seeing things through, sticking it out, staying together, linked up, and roll swap. Switching it up, the player gets played, tasted their own medicine. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like whoever this is, yeah, thriving love and bum mode. So whoever this is you're leaving behind is a bum. They don't do shit. They ain't got shit going on. That's why they got all this time to start all this fucking drama. Because they ain't got nothing else to do with their raggedy ass. Time. <laughs> That's what it is. So I feel like you got options or you got people that's interested in you you found somebody with committed it's like you got you kept your options open but you found somebody that you want to be with and so they're going to be really salty they're going to be mad they're going to be mad because they're going to get a taste of their own medicine and not to be funny either i don't feel like it's to play do tit for tat or none of that shit you really want to commit to somebody or they want to commit to you or whatever this is so now they're upset they're mad or that's how they want to be that's how they're going to be when they find out that you with somebody else or whatever. Whatever it is. Yeah, decompress and vulnerability. Somebody that you can decompress with and be vulnerable with and feel comfortable with doing so. They're going to be really pissed off. And oh, the fuck well. Oh, well, bitch. I feel like once you do that, that's when they're going to show their true colors. They're going to show their ass. Yeah, bro, I'm telling you baggage and new boo for some of you it's a new person that you're meeting that got this baggage right with their baby mama and i feel like there's a past person that kind of like got the same situation going on but theirs is way worse they stuck over there this new person not stuck though so you're gonna have to make a decision <laughs> like i don't know and then this past person gonna want to reconcile with you too i was i was getting like two situations i i swear i was getting that this person here could be pregnant too. Somebody pregnant or something. But like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is so dramatic, Sagittarius. What the fuck? What else? Child, please. Yeah, logical approach in reverse. If somebody's not thinking with logic, it's whoever this Queen of Swords is. Maybe this is you. Some of y'all need to fucking. Your feelings could be in the way here. Strategic, analytical mindset, carefully calculating moves, head wins over heart. So your heart, yeah, your heart is winning over your head. <laughs> you need to find balance. Make it make sense here, okay? Higher love, soulmates, high vibrational match, bringing out the best in each other. That's why. Because whoever this is, you like them. You like them. What's logical approach in reverse? This is like a soulmate that you like, that you actually see you want to build a family with. What's logical approach in reverse? <laughs> Intuitive as fuck. Yeah, you're using your intuition. Or it's a clarity, see, seeing through illusions, cutting through fluff, strong insight. Yeah, you're going to have to use your intuition with this one because... What's this logical approach in reverse this intuitive as fuck card? Gassed up. Inflated ego, superiority complex, Napoleon syndrome, cockiness. Or maybe you made a decision about this past person with their weird ass baby daddy, baby mama. I don't know. Sagittarius, I don't know. You go, You got some decisions to make distrust and transparency i feel like there's somebody there, there is a situation here right with the maybe a new person where it's a lot of shit that's going on that could make you feel like uh you shouldn't trust it okay but the transparency is here like they're not hiding anything that's the thing no secrets revealing everything laying it out in the open keeping it 100 but you you your intuition is telling you so i feel like it's telling you something about their weird ass family or whatever yeah it's because of your past letdowns or something like that 
some of y'all have some sort of generational curse or something where you always end up finding somebody, but they always got a third party. But I swear, I was just saying that to somebody. I was saying that to a friend of mine the other day. Actually, yesterday, actually. I just, I, just, I was just saying that. I swear, it's coming out in the reading. It's crazy. You, you're having a problem trusting because of your past. Because the situations are similar. It's two people here. And I feel like they're two masculines with crazy ass baby mamas and a rack bro. I, I'm, I'm so tired of hearing about these weird bitches. I swear to God. And I don't even swear to God. Sorry, Lord. But I'm. it just came out because that's how I feel. What's this distrust card? Somebody is telling you the truth. I feel like what's getting in the way is you making a decision about what it is you need to do. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what's getting in the way because something you like it there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You like it there, but you don't. Yeah, look, it said, bro, it says it's all good. Optimism, glass is half full, keeping a positive outlook, not sweating the small stuff. <sighs> a child. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody, one of these people being transparent with you, though, I feel like it's the new person, <laughs> to be honest. Them the ones, they, they're the ones that's being transparent. This past person that you dealt with that did this same shit or that was in the third party with their whack-ass baby mama, they wasn't telling you the truth. They lied to you the whole fucking time. They chose to go stay with this bitch while trying to juggle you. That's the difference between this new person and this other person. <laughs> like, I mean, it might not be... You're like, well, shit, I, I, I mean, I can hear y'all in the comments saying like, oh, I don't want to be, duh, 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 duh. but I don't know. You have to make a decision. All right. So moving on. So there's nothing else I can say about that. It really isn't. What else? <laughs> this is like, yeah, clouded, bro. Poor judgment. Making unwise choices block intuition, confusing situations. They're all confusing, both of them. Both of them, yeah. Celebration, accomplishment, hitting a milestone, happy times, reaching goals, and report, announcement, and coming news, finding something out unknown, being revealed. I feel like you're going to get clarity through your intuition about what you need to do. You just need to take time, yeah, to decompress, relieving stress, taking off the edge, avoiding hardships, putting off worries. What's this cloudy right here? Damn, Sagittarius. <laughs> Disconnecting came out in reverse. Yeah, withdrawing, tuning things out, wanting to be left alone, detaching. You need to fucking just be by yourself, maybe. Or now that you kind of like put yourself back out there to date or have fun or whatever, you just feel so... It's just a lot going on, you know? But that's what happens though. Like, like if you're spiritual like me and you start mixing your energy with other people's and they got issues, they could become a lot. And I feel like a lot of people don't get that shit because they don't know how to read energy or they don't understand their own energy. A lot of people lack self-awareness, right? So they don't understand it when you say it. But if you're empathetic and you can feel other people's energy from a mile away, then it's going to affect you. You guys probably just need to disconnect for a minute. Okay, because, I mean, it's, it's, it is a lot of shit going on. What's this report? Or you're going to have a time coming up where you can be, where you can think. What's the report here? Healing touch. Helping hands, showing empathy, nurturing and caring, providing support. Somebody could be getting back like DNA results or health results from the doctor. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. With, with this doctor's thing on here and report, incoming news, finding something out. I don't know. Let's see. What's um report? For some of you, I'm hearing too. You got to think about how you feel after you indulge and deal with these people, right? That could be what the incoming news is. If you just really pay attention to how you feel, if you feel energetically depleted, around certain people then that's going to be your sign to that's going to be able to tell you what you need to do let me see what's a report with healing touch disillusion yeah rose color glasses not as good as it seemed 
feeling let down, disappointment. So there is something that's going to come out. I feel like with either this situation, the new person or this old person, I feel like that's the old person. Yeah, communication <clears throat> and disconnecting, unplug, limiting distractions, social media break, going MIA and communication. It's something that's going to come in that's going to make you want to disconnect. It's either this past person or this new person. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, exposure, shedding light, finding clarity, the hidden being revealed, mysteries resolved. Mystery solved, I meant. Easy breezy, no worries, smooth sailing, everything working out, no troubles ahead. Yeah. It's something. Something's going to make you feel better, but, I, I, you know... I don't know when now. I don't know. What's uh the celebration? Exposure. Shedding light, finding clarity, the hidden being revealed, mystery solved. So something was resolved. Something has been exposed. You could be trying to choose between the past person and this new person. Because both of them, they got shit going on. Is what it sounds like to me. Or this is you. <laughs> Flip it, switch it. But something's going to be celebratory because something, one of these situations, something's going to come to light about it. Okay. Cleanse. Yeah. Purging. Releasing negativity. Ridding toxicity. Purification. So, I don't know. <clears throat> You're going to purify your energy from one of these situations or both or I don't know, man. I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments. <laughs> what, what is going on it's something where y'all be like meeting people and the shit just be so fucking complicated it just be so much it's never peace and it's crazy because you get peace from the particular person i know y'all y'all probably get peace from this particular person but it's what the fuck they gotta deal with you know what i'm saying that be the problem and what the hell i mean it just depends if you feel like it's worth the fight, then you, you know what I'm saying? You work through it. And for some of you, like the situation could be where as though if this person cares about you like that, they wouldn't be putting you in this fucking drama. They would d deal with that shit and be making their way out of it. You know, like. Mm -hmm. You do a card for Sagittarius. Y'all energy drain the fuck out of me. <laughs> Uh, and because the shit like mm -mm. what's this for Saggy? Okay, I'm not gonna do a jumper. Let me just pull off the top. Let me pull off the top because I don't got time for that right now. Abracadabra connect. Yeah, that's what I got from uh, on one of my collective readings that I did the other day. Adajo, Adajo, Karma. Yeah, Oshun, Justice. Wow, Karmic Justice. Hermetic, Create, Codes in Nature, Miracles. Ala Besisipo. Alabasisipo, union. Yeah, hermetic, create, codes in nature, miracles, and Alabasisipo, union, Quada Marawa, initiation, Numo Nomo, change, Iku, transformation, divine feminine, the void, Irawo, restoration. You guys could be going through some sort of trans. You are. But that judgment right there, you could be going through a, some sort of like test. Okay, some sort of initiation spiritually. And even if you try, shit, a lot of people are not going to understand, especially if they're, if they're not spiritual or whatever, they just won't understand it. Especially if you have some sort of strong connection to like your ancestors, your spirit team, God, source, universe, all of it is the same. <laughs> so if you have some sort of like connection like that and you're like, um, highly rank high ranking spiritually you're going to get tested like i feel like you are right now this is a test <laughs> this is a big one too i don't know mm -hmm. 
Let me see. Let me see, child. Abracadabra, 81. It says connect. Abracadabra is said to be a magical series of numbers. And if you write it out in, in a certain way, it will bring miracles into your life. The literal translation is I will create as I speak. In this car, you are encouraged to speak to your heart. Yeah. I feel like you are too, though, a logical approach in reverse and your intuition. I feel like with gassed up, inflated ego. You're listening to your intuition. I feel like you're following your heart. This could be this person that's following their heart. About moving forward with you in a situation too. There's something, I feel like if this is a new person, they realize that both of y'all have some sort of connection there. You know what I'm saying? And so are you going to let the, the past hoe ruin some shit? I don't give a fuck if they're your baby mama, your baby daddy. I don't give a fuck who it is. Auntie, cousin, uncle, they're in the fucking way. And they causing too much drama for what? Nothing. Because you don't want to be with them no more. And because you already fucking learned the lesson is outdated. So now they're mad. Don't nobody give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> like, don't nobody care about you being mad. About somebody moving forward. Just move forward. You got somebody out here for you. Just like this person got somebody out there for them. People just be jealous. They be jealous and they're fucking weird. And they don't want you to have shit. Because they ain't got shit. A life, money, a job fucking common sense nothing <laughs> the fuck child this shit be getting on my nerves bro the topical oracle tells you to rub your heart and chest with love speak to your heart in a way that creates a gratitude rampage take the topic of your choice and rub the spelling of abracadabra onto your heart chakra and just be be still be here for extra integration do the pairing below and read all the cards in the spread Plant spirit, aloe. So you can need an aloe vera plant to do the abracadabra spelling over your heart chakra. That's going to do something. I'm about to do that. I said I was going to do that when I saw it in the uh, the collective reading I did yesterday. For extra integration, you could use the aloe plant. But you could use any topical, whatever, of your choice to do it with. But child, let's see. Person, they could be going through some sort of karma <laughs> and that's probably why you're confused because i mean they got karma to clear maybe maybe this is their fucking karma okay so you just need to be careful make sure you ain't racking up on no karma by dealing with this person they i mean you gotta really i don't know what you gotta do only you know but I feel like there's a difference between this past person and this new person. This past person, they're stuck there. They are stuck with their family. Like, they they are not doing anything to get out of it. And they're acting like ain't shit going on or like they're unbothered. And maybe that's where they want to be. This new person it seems like they don't want to be there. So either they're going to, if you don't see them making changes, then there's nothing that you can do. And I advise you to move the fuck on and stop wasting time. Time is very valuable, even though it's, it is an illusion. But still, you don't want to, like... Archangel Azriel, death and rebirth, transitions, life changes. Yeah, 23. Melchizedek, Melchizedek or whatever. Spiritual development, study, and law of attraction. Hmm. Let's see. This is an Archangel, yeah. Where he at? Oh, 53. So let's see. Archangel Azrael's name means angel of death. While he is a powerful guide and comforter in times of grief and loss, he turns up during a physical death. Ooh. And is 
and also supports you during all times of change, life transitions, and during that difficult period between one thing ending, yeah, and the next not yet beginning. That's what I'm saying. That's what it, it sounds like to me. Damn. Archangel Azrael can offer you comfort and strength at the completion of a cycle during big shifts and transformations. He is also a powerful ally when working with mediumship and calling on your loved ones in spirit. So it says the Oracle, you are journeying from one chapter into another. Let go of the old and prepare to step into the new. One door is closing. Another one is opening. Step through. I feel like this new person going through that too. You are too. So that's why things seem so like messy, except maybe you don't have as much drama as this new person. Like, I don't know, but love and relationships. For love and relationships, it says, take time to grieve for those you have lost through death, divorce, breakup, falling out, or simply growing apart. Let go and release relationships and people that you know are no longer right for you in your life at this time. Yeah, I feel like that's what's happening. For your work, something needs to change. It may be time to change jobs or to change the energy around your current work situation. For your home, it says, let go of old things you no longer need that are weighing you down. Put up photos of your past over loved ones to keep them near. For your money, you have the power to create a new money story for yourself. Let go of old patterns and habits and start to form new ones that will support you financially. For your well-being, declutter in all areas of your life. Let go of things, people, thoughts, and beliefs that no longer serve you. And for your spirituality, connect with your past over loved ones and spirit. Ask them to show up in your dreams and through signs you will recognize. Hmm. Call on Archangel Azrael for assistance with losing loved ones, grief, moving through life transitions, moving house, changing jobs, etc. Relationship breakups, relationship changes, new partners, <clears throat> family members, births, and etc. Any kind of endings, completion of karmic cycles, developing your mediumship skills. And it says embody the energy of Archangel Azrael by taking time to grieve for what has been lost, giving yourself time to heal and process. Letting go with grace, looking forward with hope. Yeah, some of y'all maybe just might need time. Or maybe this person needs time to process it. Maybe they think that they don't. I don't know. But with all this shit that they've been dealing with, I feel like they fucking do. So does this past person. But it seems like they, they're they stuck in that shit. And I ain't gonna say they're not trying to get out of it, but... Mm-hmm. How you say this man's name? I don't like pronouncing people's name wrong. I don't like pronouncing any word wrong, really. What is... What is... I'm so frustrated. <laughs> like, I'm so frustrated. This reading just frustrated the fuck out of me. Melchizedek. Melchizedek. Okay, Melchizedek. Melchizedek. <laughs> Melchizedek. Okay, that's a priest. Hmm. Let's see what this one says, y'all, and then I'm going to go. Melchizedek was a high priest during biblical times and is mentioned in the Old Testament and the Dead Sea Scrolls. Melchizedek is said to be the pre-incarnate Christ as there are many similarities between the story, his story and the story of Jesus. Known as an angel, the general of the heaven, heavenly armies and the king of peace in New Age spirituality, Malchizedek is seen as a very high vibrational and wise spiritual teacher and leader of the light. He is wonderful to connect with in times when you wish to accelerate your spiritual journey. The Oracle, it says you are a leader of light. Work on developing your spiritual abilities and talents through study and practice. For your love and relationships, not everyone is going to understand you. Keep shining bright and stepping into your power anyway. No one to step back and let others go their their own way. Yeah, you are not here to lead everyone to love. <laughs> For your home, create a small area in your home where you can sit quietly and work on your spiritual studies. Let others you live with know that when you are in that space, you are not to be disturbed, period. For your work, you are a leader of light in your workplace. You may be called to step into more power and leadership at work. You may be called towards doing spiritual work for a living. I feel like that's you. That's what you're doing. You're, you are going through some sort of spiritual initiation with these situations. I don't know, like, sure, I don't know. It says for money, work with the teachings of the law of attraction to bring more money into your life. 
Visualize yourself having everything you need and trust and surrender in the process. For your well-being, don't forget to balance your spiritual life with your material one. Take some time to do some human things to stay grounded. Go out with friends, take a road trip, watch some TV, eat a pizza, whatever helps you feel connected to the physical world. And it says for your spirituality, make time to study the spiritual topics that you are interested in and that are calling you at this time. Look at your time management and to-do list and make sure to prioritize your spiritual study, learning, and growth. So some of you guys do need to sit back and study, read books, do whatever you have to do to um, gain more knowledge. Because you could definitely, the Queen of Pentacles is a healer. You could definitely be classified as like a white witch. A healer is the same shit. Okay. A psychic. Yeah, the magician with the hierophant there, now that I'm looking at it. Yeah, it, it is. Like, when I see this now, it's like you're being initiated spiritually. You do have some sort of psychic gifts. Hmm. It says, call on Malkazidic or whatever for assistance with spiritual study, finding the right books, events, resources, and courses. Finding the time and energy for your spiritual studies, working the, with the law of attraction and manifestation, stepping into your power as a light worker and a leader of light, starting a spiritual business, initiating yourself as a priest or priestess, embody the energy of Malkazidic by prioritizing your spiritual practices and study, learning your lessons in all areas of your life, sharing what you have learned with others and holding sacred spaces for others in teaching. So some of y'all, that is what you do. You are a teacher already. Yeah, there go Jesus right there. Didn't they say something about Malkazedic and Jesus? I forgot what they said that fast. But honey, Mother Mary, purity of heart, faith, conception. Archangel Michael, clarity, truth, protection. Archangel Jeremiah, Jeremiah or Jeremiah, reflections, dreams, and visions. Hmm. So yeah, Sagittarius, I don't know, man. Y'all reading's been long as fuck because there's been so much shit going on, you know? So I don't know, man, but I hope this resonated. <laughs> let me know in the comments what's going on. Like, I want to know. Please let me know. Let me know, okay? Like, subscribe, comment, turn on your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys won't miss any of my readings, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.